I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the organization Wires. They're a brilliant, brilliant bunch who help out wildlife. And we're talking to them on Creature Corner right now. And we've also got the pet of the week. It's all happening. Justin from Wires is going to talk to us today, guys. Special, special treat. Justin, welcome to the program. Thank you for having us on. What does WIRES stand for? WIRES stands for Wildlife Information Rescue and Education Services. We're an organisation that operates out of New South Wales. We're the largest, longest standing native animal rescue organisation in Australia. Our job is to rescue and rehabilitate native animals and release them back to the wild. People become members of WIRES and then undergo appropriate training to rescue and rehabilitate native animals. There's obviously ongoing training uh, where you buddy up with people who've been doing it for years, talking to professionals and always learning along the way. And so appropriately, you need the right kind of space, the right kind of material. It's very rewarding. There are so many native animals, even in the Sydney metro alone. There are other risks to animals, habitat loss. It's one thing to look after the animals and protect them. It's another thing to not provide them a home. While ever there's a huge amount of habitat destruction, we are up against a bit of a brick wall in terms of where do they live? If they've got nowhere to live, we just reduce populations across the board. If you see an animal that looks stressed or an animal that's um, stationary for a long time or it just looks out of place, contact WIRES on 13000 94737. One of our rescue line operators will um, speak with you and take you through the next necessary steps in order to get that animal into appropriate care. WISE is really lucky. We have a network of veterinary clinicians across the state that we work with, with all of our 27 branches in New South Wales. We also work closely with New South Wales Police, the RSPCA and the National Parks and Wildlife Service. So we are the port of call for the majority of the time. What's your website? Log on to wires.org. WISE educates the public, it doesn't just save the animals, does it? That's right. Look, you know, not everybody has the space or the capability to care for animals. So there are other ways you can get involved. And we certainly go out to the community and educate. We all have to learn how to interact and live with each other um, the best way that we possibly can. And so there's really simple things that people can do to help sort of minimise those negative impacts with native animals, you know, by keeping your pets inside at night, you know, keeping rubbish and debris away from inside your home and outside your home parameters so that you can prevent things like interactions with snakes and other reptiles. If you do get a snake in your environment, they're more scared of you than you are them, aren't they? Majority of the time, yes. Yeah. <laughs> as petrified as we all might be yeah. of snakes, you know, the majority of them are very much not interested in coming in contact with us. Yeah. The red-bellied black snake, for example, is very passive by nature, will always steer clear of you. If you come across a snake, call an expert, don't attempt to handle it, don't attempt to kill it, don't attempt to get your pet to do anything about it either. WIRES is a registered charity. While we work under a government licence, we're not part of any government department. And that's how we provide our service free to the community through the generosity of individual donors. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Thank you. Alrighty guys, remember that website and that number. And if you have any trouble, give WIRES a call. They're the best on the bunch. And now we have Talking of the Best, Pet of the Week. I've got Chris from Sanctuary Tales and Pound Rounds talking to us for Pet of the Week. Who is this gorgeous little doggy, Chris? Minnie. And Minnie's, Minnie's from a pound. She's a silky cross. She's the best dog. She's a rescued dog. She's yeah. a pound dog. Blacktown Pound has many, many small dogs who need homes, as do all pounds. What were the advantages of getting a pound dog? Well, they know that you've rescued them, so they're just so loving. She gets on well with all other dogs. She loves children. She's just full of fun. She is cat friendly. How do we get hold of you if we want to get hold of her? Sanctuary Tales Animal Rescue has a Facebook wall, or you can go on to Pound Rounds on Facebook as well. And they come de-sexed and back. And they certainly do. Thanks so much again, Chris, and thank you, Minnie. Thanks, Camilla. All right, again, guys, Sanctuary Tale or Pound Runs on Facebook. Have a look, have a good one, and we'll see you again next time.